So in this problem, what they say is they give us one angle of a polygon. They say find the number of sides as well as the sum of all the interior angles. Now we know that a triangle has um, three sides. A triangle has three sides, right? Right. OK, just find the number of sides. I thought I gave you guys another problem. All right, so we just need to find the number of sides, and that's perfectly fine. Um, so we have, so we just need to find the number of sides, and that's the interior. But remember, a triangle has three, three sides and three angles that are um, 80 deg or six, 60 degrees each, and they add up to 180. A quadrilateral has four sides and four angles, and each angle is 90 degrees, and they all add up to 360. But this one has 120. So what is going to be just the number of sides? So remember, guys, there's two formulas that we worked with. To find the sum of all the interior angles, the formula was n minus um, the number of sides were n minus 2 times 180. Okay, Where n equals the number of sides. Okay? And S equals the sum of interior angles. Remember last problem? Uh, exterior angles is always 360. You don't need to worry about the sum of um, a regular polygon exterior angles. It's always 360. However, interior angles all right, is going to be dependent on this formula, where n is the number of sides. Okay? So, one thing, a problem though, is we don't know what the sum is. So we can't use this formula. All right? But there was another formula where the, now the another formula is the measure of an angle, which I'm just going to say angle, is equal to the sum divided by the number of angles. In this case, where A equals the measure of one angle. And that works only for a regular polygon. So there's two formulas. One deals with the sum, and one deals with the measure of an individual angle. So I need to use this. And now I know what the measure of one interior angle is, right? It's 180. Or sorry, 120. So I say 120 degrees equals n minus 2 times 180 degrees divided by n. And again, what is n? Represent? Number, number of sides. And what is the question asking for? Number of sides. So we need to figure out what n is. All right. So we need to solve an equation for n. So to do that, the first thing you guys need to do is get n off the bottom. So I'll do that by multiplying an n on both sides. When doing that, when I multiply an n on both sides, these n's divide to 1. And I'm left with 120n equals n minus 2 times 180 degrees. Then I apply distributive property. So I have 120n equals 180n minus 360 degrees. Then I get the n's on the same side. And I have negative 60n equals negative 360 degrees. Then to solve for n, I just divide by negative 60. Not dealing with our degrees. Therefore, n will equal 6. So therefore, the number of sides is 6, and it is what we call a hexagon. Okay. So therefore, guys, give yourself an M-A-T or H based on how we